Am I wrong for not lying about why I could not remove my headscarf? I, 24 female, am a bridesmaid for one of my closest friends, Jackie, 24. I've been so excited to help. I was in charge of the bridal shower, the games, decorations, and menu. I left the guest list to Jackie's sister. Due to religious reasons, I wear a headscarf. I love and am very proud of it. In the group chat with other bridesmaids, I was talking about how excited I am to attend a girls only event. I recently dyed my hair and wanted to show it off. I even paid extra to ask for a girls only staff that day. Day of, as guests arrive, I realize one of them is Tori, 26 female. I know Tori as a family friend of Jackie's, but the few times I met her, it was before her transition to female. I was aware of it, but unaware she was coming to the shower. I don't mind at all, of course, and she's a lovely person, but I decided to keep my scarf on. As everyone's eating later, I'm passing by the tables to make sure everyone's good and one of my bridesmaids mentioned that they hadn't gotten to see my hair and they wanted to see it. I tried to dismiss it at first or say, oh, I'll show you later, but the other girls at the table got curious. I got uncomfortable and I just said, oh, I'm actually not really comfortable taking it off right now. When pressed as to why, I said there's guests I don't feel comfortable taking it off in front of. There was a collective, oh, and I thought, cool, that's over. But one girl... Am I wrong for giving my friend THC-infused oral strips? My friend and I recently hung out together, and she saw me using an oral strip and asked me to try one, thinking it was a breast strip. Oral Leaf is a discreet, cannabis-infused oral strip that speeds up and enhances the desired effects of THC. The strips were made by Love Pharma. Love Pharma is a future-looking company in an ever-changing industry offering innovative products through disruptive Am I wrong for deleting my friend's wedding photos in front of them? I'm not really a photographer, I'm a dog groomer. I take lots of photos of dogs all day to put on my Facebook and Instagram. It's my thing, if that makes sense. I very seldom shoot things other than dogs, even if I have a nice setup. A friend got married a few days ago and wanting to save money, asked if I'd shoot it for them. I told him it's not really my forte, but he convinced me by saying he didn't care if they were perfect. They were on a shoestring budget and I agreed to shoot it for $250, which is nothing for a 10 hour event. On the day of, I'm driving around following the bride as she goes from appointment to appointment before the ceremony, taking photos along the way. I shoot the ceremony itself and during the reception, I'm shooting speeches and people mingling. I started around 11 a.m. and was due to finish around 7.30. Would I be wrong for leaving after six and a half years with no proposal in sight? I, 25 female, have been with my partner, 29 male, for six and a half years. I'm getting fed up with the fact that we haven't gotten married yet. I am ready for the next chapter of our lives and just feel stuck. I can see why you may be thinking I'm shitty. I would too with that heading, but hear me out. We've been together six and a half years, are financially stable, own a home together for four years, and have a dog together. He told me three years ago that he was ready, and a proposal still hasn't happened. We've been through a lot together and have grown together. We went through my brain tumor diagnosis, 